subject is with this particular mark, you can't buy or sell. Can somebody tell me what a radio frequency chip has to do with that? A radio frequency identification is meant as what? A GPS. It's a fine location. Where's my dog? A, girl, a sister wrote me and said, my dog has an RFID chip. I said, well, maybe he can go buy some land for you. <laughs>
So it's gonna give a, a, a it's gonna put a one mark for, for each person. If you don't receive that mark, you're gonna you're gonna have they're gonna have to cut your head. Oh yeah? Yeah. So then it, and then if you don't get that mark you will be able to, to use you know the basic the basic you know stuff like like go to, to the hospital, they won't take care of you. Right. Well you have to you need you need to have the, the 666 in here. Oh, here. Mm. What, 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 what do you uh, believe that is? Uh, that's, that's basically to, to be just with Satan, with Satan. Have you ever heard of the RFID microchip? Yeah, they, I verify, right? Huh? The verify? Yeah, the very the, 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 the very yeah, yeah. yeah, I heard about that. What do you, what do you I, think I do about a that? document about that in, in, in college, in Hostess Community College. So I speak, I spoke, I, I, I spoke about it with, with, uh, with my professor. And then I started to, to talk to the, to the people. They didn't believe me, but I know that that's going to happen. What, what do you think that is? You, you think I think, exactly, I think that is, it, yeah, that's the mark of the beast, I think. I believe so, but I don't know. Hey, not, hey where are you from, man? I'm from Mexico. Mexico? All right, all right, man. This is from the book, Re uh, Revelation, the 13th chapter. And, um... The 15th verse on down, and it says this, it says, And he had power to give life unto the beast, and unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. 17 and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name and that was from a revelation uh the 13th chapter the 15th verse to the 17th verse now the mark of the beast before you can understand the mark of the beast which which i read in the 15th verse you have to first get an understanding of who who or what the beast is now when you go to the first mention of this beast is in the book of uh, Daniel the seventh chapter and the um, the seventh verse and it says this after this I saw in the night in the night vision the night visions, I'm sorry. And behold, a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible, and strong exceedingly. And it had great iron teeth. It devoured and broke in pieces and stamped the res residue with, with the feet of it. And it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it. And it had ten horns. I'm not going to get into the beasts, the three beasts, uh, before this beast, beast right here. But if you get a chance, you read it. It's referring to the uh, the uh, Babylonians, the uh, Middle Persian Empire, and um, the uh, Greek the Greek Empire. And after the Greek Empire, shortly after the Roman em the Romans came into power. Now it says in the uh, eight eight verse, it says, "I considered the horns, and behold, there there came up." among them another little horn before whom there there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots and behold and this horn were, were eyes like the eyes of man and a mouth speaking great things so we know that this beast is not talking about an actual beast in the field it's talking about a system and that system is the pagan roman empire going back like 2,000 years ago now from there we're going to go into Revelation the 13th chapter and we're going to start from the top see when you go into the scriptures and get these understandings of these dark sayings in order to understand one thing you have to understand something else you have to understand the root of that thing. You have to understand the history of that thing.
uh, Revelation 13 and 1. And I stood upon the sand of the sea. This is John the Revelator, which was one of the uh, apostles of uh, our Lord, Yahweh Shai. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And blasphemy is talking about when you disrespect, talk ill about somebody. In this case, as you read the scriptures, they talk ill about the Most High. It says, second verse, And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet, the leopard represents Alexander, the, the creep, I call him, and his feet were like the feet of a, of, of a bear, the bear represent the Russians. Although the former beast, the ancient beast, the pagan beast, uh, Russia was not a part of that. Because when you go back to the, that beast, that fourth beast, that was the Roman Empire, which took over all the regions of, of uh, Europe, or most of it, but it didn't uh, take possession over any part of what, what we call today Russia. But the feet of the bear represents the end of something. So it's the Russians that's going to bring this system down. It's going to bring the beast down. Like I said, the leopard is Alexander, the beast is Russia, and the lion represents Great Britain, where America uh, came out of Great Britain. I'm going to read it again. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet or as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of, of a lion, and the dragon. Now the word, now the dragon right here is interchangeable with the word beast in Daniel, the uh, seventh chapter. The Roman Empire is known as the, uh, the 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 beast, and it's also known as the dragon. Let me let me prove that uh, briefly. I'm gonna go over one page. Or the next chapter, the previous chapter, Revelation 13, which is Revelation 12. And I'm going to read that. And it said, And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the, and, and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of 12, uh, 12 stars, represent the 12 tribes of Israel. It tells you in Jeremiah that the, the uh, Israel is likened unto a beautiful woman. And she, second verse, and she being with child, cry travailed in birth and pain to be delivered this is when the messiah was about to be born and there appeared another one in heaven and behold a great red dragon that dragon is the roman empire like i said the word dragon and revelation 13 is interchangeable with the word beast and daniel uh, seven uh, uh, dragon having seven heads same thing seven heads and uh, ten horns so we know it's talking about the same beast and seven crowns upon his head and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven the stars of heaven represent the israelites as you go back up to uh the first verse and upon a head a crown of 12 stars but when you go into the history this is going back 2000 years ago when the roman empire was in their power this was actually the beginning of the roman empire this was this was a, this was uh this was during the time of uh, 1 to about 4 BC. And different scholars uh, argue about it, right? But um, that's when he was born. Now it says, uh, And there appeared another one in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his head. And his tail, the Roman Empire's tail, drew the third part of the stars of heaven. And did cast them to the earth. That's when that's when um, the, the 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 tribes that were left in Jerusalem were the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. The rest of the tribes went to the other side of the world.